Hello everyone, welcome to CoinBuzz. Now you've noticed that the theme of our past few videos has been DeFi related. Why is that? It's because I'm particularly bullish on the entire DeFi sector as a whole, especially with everything that's happening to centralized finance and centralized exchanges. That said, I know that DeFi is a sector that many people aren't very comfortable exploring. You have these new protocols. At first, it was just Uniswap, plain vanilla swapping on DEXs. Then you had Aave. Then you suddenly started getting LSD and synthetic LSD, Pendle, and all of these things, people aren't getting it. Some people are still very confused. They don't know how everything works. That really is a shame. There is a lot of stuff you can do on DeFi. There are ways to ensure that your stables, that any liquidity you have can be put to better use in between trades or investments. You can be earning yield on that. Those of you who were here since the initial DeFi summer know how much potential there is in DeFi. You have insane valuations, projects explored, and crypto as a whole does very well when the DeFi sector booms and money flows on chain. But then you have projects like Entangle. Now, I'm very bullish on Entangle, the concept of synthetic LPs and being able to use them, providing sticky liquidity. But I know I got a lot of questions last time. People were asking me, what do I mean? Even though I thought I explained it simply, but that begs the question, what will happen when retail returns? When they come and everyone who've left crypto in 2021, 2022 returns, and finds a very different landscape compared to when they were here last. They'll see all of these new protocols and they'll want to ape in but have no idea how. That's a shame. Why? Because all that potential TVL, they'll look for easier gains elsewhere. Instead of, let's say, yield farming someplace, then using that LP to get synthetic LP, borrowing it by putting it up as collateral, taking that money across chains, and I know I'll probably have lost you by now. Well, what if there was a way you can do this easily. Enter strategy protocol. Now, it's called strategy. I don't know why. It might just be a short form of strategy. Let's just stick with strategy. Now, strategy is promising. Even though there's not a lot of information out yet, there is no information about tokenomics. The white paper is due as well, but the concept it's advertising is very appealing. Imagine a DeFi expert making a plan and using that plan to make a lot of money with the stables and crypto he has. Now, if he's so inclined, he might share the plan with his community or maybe if he has a private Discord group. Some might not even be inclined to share it at all. Why? They want more API. They don't want to publicize the way they get their gains because what's in it for them? They did all the work. Why should anyone else gain the benefit from that? There's also the issue of declining API. If a pool is filled too much, then you get a lower cut of the share. Well, with strategy, that solves that problem. It allows these DeFi wizards, these DeFi degens to make plans public on on the strategy protocol where users who aren't so good at DeFi can follow them by a simple click of the button. It sounds appealing. Aave is already being integrated and in the latest update, I saw Curve Finance. So they aren't playing around. The guys over at Strategy are really giving it their all. We don't have a working product yet. There is a way to get on the white list or the wait list actually by completing daily tasks at Zeely. You might know Zeely as Crew3. They've rebranded themselves to Zeely. So I leave the link in the description below. You can start doing those tasks and you can follow them on Discord to keep yourself updated as well as Twitter. I just want you to imagine for one second a protocol where anyone who's an expert in DeFi can make a plan that anyone can follow by a simple click. The person who made the plan will of course receive revenue, a cut of the share for sharing his plan, whether in let's say strategy tokens or from the revenue that the users are generating for themselves. All the protocols involved get revenue from increased TVL. People won't be left out from investing in complex DeFi solutions and the DeFi protocols themselves will see added revenue, added TVL increase because people are finding it easier and easier to invest. It all locks into place. You have protocols solving the issue of liquidity by giving you a solution for sticky liquidity. You have protocols looking at zero knowledge and AI ways to invest in DeFi. And then you have a protocol that says, listen, all of that is good. It's useless if people don't know how to use it. Let me make it easier. That's what strategy is trying to do. It's like copying the homework of your very smart friend. Now, I've talked to the team at Strategy. I've asked when we can expect a white paper or some info about the tokenomics. They said a few weeks at the most, but you have to remember this is very early. I discovered this project very early on because I was browsing around Lens. If you don't know Lens, that's a potential airdrop as well. And I came across their post. When I joined their Discord, 
Discord. It was new. It was fresh. Not many people there. The gaining traction. There's no harm in following a project if you don't have to invest anything right now. Anything other than your time and a bit of effort is worth following them. You can start the Zili tasks. You can start collecting the posts on Lens and any mirror post on the Optimism chain. That allows you to get the roles on Guild. For example, if you were there from the start, you could have minted the very first post and gotten an OG role. While that is gone now, there are still more roles coming. You can start right now and you can work on the Zili tasks to get yourself approved on the wait list. I'm guessing there might be some benefits and some perks to testing out the protocol early. Maybe perhaps an airdrop. I'm not saying there is an airdrop, but there might be perks. We've seen the trend shift away from just giving an airdrop to first giving an NFT and that NFT being used as an airdrop catalyst or an airdrop multiplier. I've seen that with Ortlayer, with ZK Link, I've seen that with Tapioca DAO and recently Entangle has also teased an NFT. Who knows what strategy can do? I'm, I'm spitballing here because we don't have a lot of information, but I really like the concept and I wanted to bring it to you guys. I know it's early. We might cover this again in the future when the white paper is out, when I have more information, but it's a shame if you weren't aware of such a unique project. This is how stuff flies under the radar. And when suddenly people notice it, it's already booming. A lot of people are aping in. What about if we were early for once? Wouldn't that be good? Please like and subscribe our video. Relevant links are down below. That's it from us. I hope you liked the video. Those of you who are following me on Twitter at DevDoSomething will know I shared strategy around a month or two back. So if you joined then, you were early. For those of you who don't follow me, you're missing out. Please leave comments if you want us to cover something specific or if you want us to look at a promising project. That's it from us. Goodbye.